in Ramadan in, with translation and tafsir, better to do that than to read the whole Quran not understanding a single word that you read in it. I believe that fully. I'm sure of it. It is better. So, we need to get back to the book with understanding and then the books that we come to the bookstore to buy. We have a culture now of buying books. And these books, when we buy it, you know, very nice book, you know, it's nice. And we get home, we put it in the shelf, you know, dust starts to collect on it. Five years later, they're having a class on the devil's deception. Oh, I have that book. I got it five years ago. Never read it. We have to be aware of that because that is a part of the devil's deception. <laughs> you know, that having the book, you are rewarded for having the book. No, you're rewarded for reading the book, benefiting from its contents, and acting on it. That's when you're rewarded. But just having the book, no. No reward for just having the book. In fact, it could be a sin against you. Because if you are committing sins in which the book which you bought said you shouldn't be doing it, then you have no put, you know, no excuse before Allah. At least if you didn't have the book, you can say, well, I didn't have the book. <laughs> you have some kind of excuse now, you know? But now you had that book sitting in your house which said you should not listen to music. The whole explanation, all the hadiths brought to tell you all about music, right? You listen to music even when you die, they're playing the song for you, your, your, your favorite song as they bury you. You know, when you stand before Allah, what can you say? I had the book, but you didn't read it. So, inshallah, I think I've shared enough. I hope that uh, some of my words made sense. And there's encouragement there for you all to become writers also. You know, we have our publisher, Brother Faridullah. He's ready if you have something good, beneficial for the people. He's looking for writers. So, inshallah, you're welcome to write and turn it in, let him have a look at it. If he doesn't publish it, don't get angry. I didn't say he was going to publish it. I said, you can write. Turn it in. But, inshallah, try to gain that knowledge through the books, through study. The books help us to be able to organize the knowledge. I know many of you will say, ah, but I'm on the internet, you know. I watch YouTube, I watch lectures of Dr. Zakir Naik, I see Sheikh Asim al Hakim, and Sheikh Hussein Yi. I'm watching, I'm watching all these lectures here, here, there. But you know what? Those lectures, when you watch them, you can watch them for a year. At the end of the year, if somebody asks you, okay, teach us a class in Akida. You have to excuse yourself. <coughs> Why? But you listen to all those lectures you watched and because that knowledge is scattered. It's here and there everywhere. So it remains scattered. You need to be involved either in a course of study where somebody's teaching you systematically so you can put that knowledge, you know, uh, brick by brick.